Hello my soccer universe! First things first, I have to apologize that for the last round the return legs I couldn't do a video because my laptop broke down at that point and so I had only to rely on short videos uh, and I hope this kind of filled in a little bit. It was a high stress CSC situation that is about to get resolved over this weekend so yes. Sorry about that. Let's talk Conference League action from yesterday evening. It was better than the Champions League. Maybe not quite up there with the Europa League, but I would argue uh, the ties are a little bit more in balance as they are in the Europa League. We didn't have uh, as many really decisive results, although we had two big, big, big away wins that one could not expect necessarily this way. Unfortunately, one of them involved the Austrian team, uh, Sturm Graz, the last Austrian team remaining, who were completely outclassed by Lille. Lille are the biggest movers of the teams that I still have in the competition. And honestly, when I look at it, I will definitely lose one between Aston Villa and Ajax. I will lose one between Lille and Sturm Graz. And I'm probably losing Pauk as well. And then we're only down to three <laughs> jerseys. I guess I need to buy more conference league teams. Don't necessarily want to, but hey, let's see how the competition pans out. But yeah, uh, Lille were the, were the biggest movers among the teams that I have, but uh, just because they beat an Austrian team, I just couldn't put uh, myself to put their jersey on. Decided on Fiorentina. I think they had a really mad away win in Budapest, but not against the Hungarian team because Israeli teams play the home games in Budapest at the moment. Let's run a little bit through the games. I mean, the big one, and the first one to talk about is, of course, Ajax hosting Aston Villa. I mean, that's the glamour draw. I know Ajax is in rough shape. Aston Villa is moving for top four. Uh, maybe the f lineup for Aston Villa told quite the story as well, that, you know, we just want to get a little bit out of uh, Amsterdam, and that's what they got. They were rather defensive. Ajax had more of the game create a few more chances, but nothing really big. I mean, I remember Henderson free free kick that went over the bar from far out. Um, so it was not the barnstormer that one would hope for. Although one had always kind of the feeling that maybe, just maybe Ajax could find a breakthrough, especially after Konza was sent off for a yellow red. Honestly, it was not really a foul, but you know, there's no war in the conf 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 conference. Again, I think for a second, second yellow, they wouldn't do it anyway. And you just thought this might give Ajax the impetus to go for, for the win. And then just uh, three minutes later, Hoya is also sent off. And then has a nil nil draw, and it opens up the road for Villa to actually make it to the quarterfinals. Although I hear some opinions from England that it might be better for them if they get eliminated by Ajax so they can uh, focus on the league. Personally, I would always take European glory. I understand the economics with uh, winning in the Premier League and going into the Champions League. Much less glamorous tie was between Molde and Club Rouge. Uh, Club Rouge playing in red. A little bit weird. Had an early goal uh, disallowed for offside. Uh, Stanevic gave then uh, Molde the lead. Uh, that the Kaipa can equalize late through a penalty. You think it's a 1-1 one -one draw. But in overtime... Um, Berisha, brother of Lask player, Valon Berisha, now Lask player, uh, is his goal, Gulbranson, uh, to get Molde a 2-1 win and a slight advantage in the tie in moving on over Club Bruges, although I feel the Club Bruges can probably do it in the uh, home game. Then uh, one of the shockers is Maccabi Tel Aviv going to Olympiakos, you know, a feisty um, at, at atmosphere. Within 10 minutes, they're up by two goals. And <laughs> of course, Zahavi is scoring. Zahavi is one of those players that uh, whenever he shows up, he scores goals, but he's never going up to, to, to a top, top level. But he is one of those. Uh, yes, Alkavi pulls one back in the 13th minute, but then Zahavi reestablishes a two, two goal lead, and the Perez in the 74th minute makes it even a three goal lead. I'm glad I didn't buy an Olympiakos jersey, although I saw a, a, a cheap one. That's actually, I feel vindicated for that decision. I thought they might go over Maccabi Tel Aviv. No, Maccabi Tel Aviv is gone, gone, gone to win this one. And, you know, a little bit joy brought to Israel in tough times as well. Um, and then we have to talk Sturm Graz against Lille. Uh, going in, 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 in into it, I mean, hopes were high because everyone in the build-up, Lille... Great at home, very well um, or, or organized with a lot of energy, but away from home, they can be gotten there because there are a lot of young players in there. 
Boy, they did not let Sturmgratz breathe. Yes, also has, as we said, uh, without uh, Prass, they were uh, missing one of their main midfield machines, so the press could not be so uh, intense. But that should not diminish um, Lil in any way. They completely dominated, outplayed Sturm Graz, took the ball away from them. And this is exactly what I do when you have this high pressing uh, style, uh, you pass your way around it. And that's exactly what the Dean Sturm Graz do not have the uh, skills to actually uh, take, take the ball away from him. And then it was a really nice uh, move uh, the, uh, to Buadi, who then squares off to da David, Jonathan David, in the 28th minute. It's one nil Lil. Uh, a little bit later, uh, there was a big save uh, by Jarosz. However, also a uh, Sturm um, chance was uh, saved by Chevalier with uh, his outstretched leg. And then potentially a penalty foul on Zakaria. I honestly think should, it should have been one. Zakaria broke his ankle on that one out for, for the season, which will also diminish the chances for Sturm Graz in the league, uh, most likely because he was a live wire as well. Second half, then Lil. Puts nails into the uh, Sturmgratz Korkov and George and David tapping in from short distance after uh, Jarosz pads a shot onto the crossbar. And then uh, Zegrova, 71st minute, a really great shot. I mean, he takes the corner and he's not even on the height of the penalty uh, box, just from a very acute angle, lobs it into the net. A really great goal. Sturmgratz also hit the crossbar as well, but overall fully deserved Lil uh, through to the next round. And, you know, in, Sturm, in Graz, they're a little bit reeling from that. On the other side, you have reached this round. Uh, so that's also a quite a success. Uh, Dinamo Zagreb against Pauk. I think the 2 0 scoreline is a little bit uh, deceiving. Yes, it shows that Dinamo Zagreb have a Bruno Petkovic uh, up there. So they have probably a little bit more up front. Uh, however, the first goal came from a bad uh, back pass from a Pauk player where Petkovic uh, then shoots his uh, shot is parried by the goalie right, right, right in his path again. And then 71st minute, he does it again. Uh, well, for instance, Murk has two good chances for Pauk lay, lay down to make the score a little bit more palatable. So unfortunately, Pauk is also more not really on their way forward. Let's put it this way. There were no away fans from Greece and there will be no away fans from Croatia because we know there were some really ugly scenes when Ajax and Dinamo played in Champions League qualification uh, last year. So I uh, did not like that one. I did like, however, what, uh, what the game between Maccabi Haifa and Fiorentina. That was a crazy game. There was. I mean, Zola gives Fiorentina an early, early lead. However, uh, 10 minutes later, Sek Ikequilas and Kinder actually uh, gives Maccabi Haifa the lead, although Fiorentina having more possession, more of the play, being a little bit more pro proactive. They get the equalizer in the 58th minute through Beltran. However, then a great job by Kalaili with what felt almost the only chance that Maccabi Haifa had re established the lead. Mandragora, just a few minutes later, gets the equalizer after Biragi assist and then show is sent off with a uh, yellow red and deep in stoppage. Time, Bonaventura, Cross and Barak heads it in 95th minute. Fiorentina get the win and look a little bit more comfortable. But this Haifa team, watch out. This is also Haifa team that not long ago gave you with some trouble. So uh, not an easy one. I think if this would have been played in Israel, not sure Fiorentina would have gotten that win right there in a more hostile atmosphere. I mean, there were definitely, it seemed like there were more Fiorentina fans there than there were uh, Haifa fans. A uh, big shocker for Union saint Julius with uh, Michi Bacuay, Belgian, scores in uh, Bel 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 Belgium uh, to give Fenerbahce the lead uh, after Soyuncu assist. It's, it's always weird when you look at these Turk Turkish teams that they have all these uh, well-known players that just have left the big leagues in a way. Unions and Juniors tried to get an equal, so and we're pressing, and then I call on a counter attack where Tal Taj misses miss, miss one, but then Osterwalde in the 84th, after Edin Dzeko assist, another big, big name, makes a tool in the 84th, and then a Tadic penalty. Tadic, yes, another one. 3-0 <laughs> for Fenfe Fenerbahce. I think the tie is done. And for unfortunately for Unions and Gilloise, uh, their run ends right there. And then the last one was... Uh, draw between Servette and Victoria Pils and yes, both teams had the chance, but you know, typically nil-nil fair. Which leaves us now with uh, Aston Villa still being the top fair favorites, Lille and Fiorentina right behind uh, Lille a little bit more because they're more or less through to the next round already. Uh, and Fenerbahce move up as well and not only overlook Maccabi Tel Aviv. I 
would actually say the top four, the winner will come out of the top four uh, teams. I, if Ajax pulled the upset, I still don't see Ajax going uh, further than the semifinal. That's my personal opinion. Uh, when we come back, uh, we the slots are turned, turned around. So Fenerbahce, University of Hiraz is a foregone conclusion. Fiorentina, Macabre, Haifa could be again a goal field. Park need to make up. And then, yeah, Pilsen against Servet, maybe not. Late game, Aston Villa against Ajax is probably a big one. Uh, and I mean, can Club Bruges do the turn to turn around? I think those are the games to look out for. Any case, that was it for me from the Conference League. Let me know what you thought about the reaction, especially if you saw more than just uh, me, the highlights and a few games here and there. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.